Hello everyone and welcome to YouTube Tuesday session 173 with me Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. Now I'm out in my living room today if you've been wondering where I've been I've been doing my videos but I've just been showing my hands um, it's because my craft room is an utter catastrophe a craft catastrophe you might say and <laughs> so I've been filming out here um, in my this is usually where I would set up my classes if I were doing an in-person class at my home um, but I use my kitchen island because that way I stand and I prep everything and I've been in class prep mode and all kinds of stuff going on so I'm filming out here uh, you can actually see behind me um, I use what was my grandmother's sewing table uh, David uses it for his TV stand here um, but I have a class prep that I kind of line up um, because I can expand that table and keep things organized. Um, because even my kitchen island right now, <laughs> it's a bit of a craft catastrophe as well. Um, but I was prepping a couple of cute projects for my upcoming team meeting. Uh, we're going to be using the Garden Walk collection from the mini catalog. Uh, this is a collection that's retiring here with the mini catalog, but it's got a super cute uh, six by six designer series paper with some fun, I think it's kind of like a, bit of a retro flowers because um, it's got kind of muted designs floral patterns um, and it goes really cute with the warmest what is it warmest heart um, which is the and the vintage mug collection like the little coffee canteens um, that's a really super cute bundle too so I'm gonna use the garden walk collection um, and show you a really simple easy collage card uh, to mix and match patterns with and then I'm going to show you one of my favorite treat holders again, too. I'm loving the mini pocket envelope treat, the mini pocket envelope holders, um, the dies from Stampin' Up. Um, I showed a couple of variations of that in my video last Friday, but I thought, oh, I'll do another one because they're just so cute. So be sure to add those to your order here for December. So now that you see my face, what do you think? I, uh, I had my hair done this afternoon. <laughs> she curled it for me. Got a couple of couple of inches, some split ends trimmed off the bottom and um, came home and I'm prepping to get my class packets in the mail this afternoon. So a little bit, a little bit chaotic here. <laughs> but nonetheless, jumping on, saying hi. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> and I um, hope you can join me and uh, we'll make some cute projects. So let's go ahead and flip the camera. Alrighty. So let's see. Flip here. There we go. All right, so we've got we've got the disaster area here <laughs> in view. The uh, Garden Walk collection is on pages 52 and 53 here of the retiring uh, September to December 2023 mini catalog. Um, of this collection, actually, this should be circle two. The Modern Oval Punch. This is carrying over, and in fact, there's a couple of really cute things. Uh, that are going to coordinate with it coming out for celebration and um, in the spring catalog one of which is this cute little watermelon set this watercolor watermelon this will be um, a celebration item starting in January and this modern oval punch is sized perfectly to fit the watermelon um, and there's a couple other sets that will coordinate with this modern oval punch too so what is retiring is the bundle with this modern garden stamp set. Uh, the other item that's carrying over are the gorgeous blooming pearls, um, but unfortunately this really pretty paper and everything else um, is leaving us, okay? So that's what I'm going to be using today. This is a six by six stack and it's got some really cute retro patterns on here. I ordered some extra paper so that I could complete my meeting packets here but check out these fun little calypso coral and puddle pink a couple of the nice patterns and this is great um, it's a 48 sheet stack hi Terry how are you but you get six each all right six sheets each say that five times fast six sheets each of the designs okay so they're really cute I love this floral so you have a mix, they're just, like I said, it's garden florals, so you have all, all kinds. Um, they're not exactly seasonal specific um, because you've got 
tropical flowers and more like winter flower, winter roses or um, little daisies and all kinds of fun stuff in here. There's some poinsettias. Um, so really flowers for all occasion here. I'm going to use this pattern along with, let's see, the reverse side and some stripes. That would be cute. I could do uh, flowers and stripes. And then for the treat holder, let's go ahead and do another cute one. Maybe we'll do this one. That's I love all these patterns. They're all really, really gorgeous. All right, so we'll pick out a couple of patterns here. And then for our card, we're gonna do just a really simple mix and match. So I've chosen Pretty Peacock for my card base because that pretty much coordinates with all of the colors in this collection. Um, it's really nice. You've got Pretty Peacock, we've got some Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Mossy Meadow, Poppy Parade, and even Wild Wheat in here. So you will see Wild Wheat is popping up all over the place. Hi, Quinn. Yes, it is hard to choose when you're on a budget. That's why I do like to use things that can um, extend beyond the season. So I do like this floral pack because like I said, it can be used all year round. So that is a good thing. You're not limited to just making um, winter cards with it. Um, also things like the, the mini envelope pocket dies that I've been using. I love this because uh, we need gift cards, right? All occasions, whether it's um, not just holiday season, but if you're traveling, um, even, you know, maybe you just want to give like something, a little chocolate to the bank teller, um, or, you know, at the restaurant, um, when you're traveling or, you know, we've all got anniversaries and different occasions coming up. So again, something that you can get multi, multiple uses out of. Absolutely. Um, there were some clearance updates this morning. That was a bit of a surprise. Stampin' Up! did not give us any warning that that would be taking place this morning. So unfortunately today has been a super busy day. Um, so I haven't gotten my news out yet. Um, so just a heads up, check the clearance rack. There were some designer papers and things from um, last year's annual catalog that are on sale for like $4 and something. So that's another great way to stretch your budget too. Um, get things on sale and that way um, you can still get great product, but at an even better price. So using uh, Pretty Peacock for this, uh, if you're investing in colors, Pretty Peacock is a color that you're going to see a lot, continue to see a lot more of, and even Wild Wheat, even if Wild Wheat has not been your favorite color, it's in a lot of the different paper packs coming up. So <laughs> you definitely get a lot of use out of these two colors. All right, so this is five and a half by eight and a half, folding it standard five and a quarter. So it's, excuse me, four and a quarter. So four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna put my basic white inside before I forget that it's there. All right, we'll just tuck that inside. That's four by five and a quarter. And then I did cut a second piece and this is for the front and this is going to establish the framework for our little collage. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. I'm not using any ribbon. Believe it or not, I'm not putting any ribbon on this card, but you could. All right, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. And so our pattern, our little mix and match collage here um, needs to fit within this four by five and a quarter framework. So using our six by six paper, I'm gonna cut this into two inch strips. All right, and then we're going to be able to use the reverse side as well. So grab your tape, take a piece of paper, grab your trimmer here. We're gonna come in and slice it up into two inch pieces. All right, so you'll have one left over for another project. So we're gonna take these and I'm gonna cut the first one in half at three inches. So it's two by three. All right, so that's gonna give us these gorgeous little flower patterns. And if I move my trimmer here, you can see what we'll do with that. Like I said, super quick and easy. We are going to glue these on opposite corners. So you're gonna line it right up on the white. I did not leave any border because I wanted just the easiest 
measurements possible. So a two by three in the upper left corner. And then I'm doing the bottom half of that, the two by three in the bottom right corner. Okay. All right. Hi, Karen. Hello, hello. Yes, it is. It's a mild day here today too, but it's just so gray. I've not seen the sunshine yet today. I don't think we're going to. Um, so when it's, and it stays dark pretty much, it's just so hard. I don't know how Alicia does it up in Alaska when it's dark all the time. <laughs> Alicia, if you've got any tips for us down here, leave me a comment. Let me know because I struggle this time of year when it just seems to be dark all the time. Just gray. I, I, I thrive on sunshine. <laughs> all right, so since this was three inches long, and our white here is five and a quarter. So five and a quarter minus three leaves us with a two and a quarter inch space. So on this second two inch strip, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this into two and a quarter inch pieces and we're gonna use the reverse side, the little stripes down here. All right, so two and a quarter and two and a quarter. All right, so another great project for your six by six stacks. And then you've got just a little bit left over, okay, that you can punch some flowers out of or, or use for something else, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and glue these two, and a, two by two and a quarter pieces onto the front. Again, do the top corner. So depending on how you trimmed, if you were accurate, you might meet right up at the edges uh, it might overlap. This one I've got just a little sliver. All right, so uh, don't worry if you've got, maybe your trimmer's not totally straight and you end up with just a little sliver uh, because we're, we've got something that's gonna cover just that little middle section there. So I'm gonna take a piece of basic white here and this is a two, Two and a half, you really just need like a two inch strip. And my favorite, actually we could be using the modern oval punch since that's what I showed you. Um, so I'll do, I'll do both, I'll show you. So we've got, if I did the modern oval punch, that's what that one looks like. So it's a decent size. Um, you could also use your Heartfelt hexagon punch, and if you did that, I'm going to use the little, this little stitched outline, and I'm going to use this sentiment. I hope your day is filled with joy. I'm not sure. I hope your day is filled with joy. That could be used um, any, any. Hopefully every day. Hopefully every day is filled with joy. Let me find my pretty peacock ink pad here. And then I need a couple, a couple of blocks, one for our sentiment, and I need one for my stamp here. And of course it's buried under my ink pads. All right, so I'm gonna use Pretty Peacock for this. All right, so use your favorite punch, okay? Favorite punch and sentiment set. I'm gonna go ahead and punch this out first because I'm going to use it vertically with the sentiment, okay? So if you're not familiar, heartfelt hexagon here, this bundle with the stamp set and the punch, this is an early release from the spring catalog from the January through April 2024 catalog. So this is actually available now. All right. Um, and I love this bundle. I've been using it all the time. Isn't that pretty? So you could do either. It would work on this stamp set as well. All right, so you could use either one. And then just need a couple of, we need some dimensionals which I have buried somewhere. And then I'm going to pull in, I'm, I'm in love with the punches. And actually, if you like punches, check out the clearance rack. Um, a couple of punches were added 
to the clearance rack again today. Um, so can never have enough punches. All right, so I'm gonna use the leaf punch uh, with the Petal Park Builder Punch. This one does the three flowers in one. So for the leaf, I'm gonna use a little scrap, little scrap here of Pretty Peacock. Right, let's see here, I don't need a whole thing. All right, so I'm gonna do one little leaf. And then for the flowers, I want to do a couple different colors. So I've got some petal pink here. Actually, I could do Calypso Coral. Let's do some white. I got a little scrap of white. I've got a scrap of Poppy Parade. Little scrap of poppy parade here, and then calypso coral. I don't know where my scraps are, so I have to punch three flowers. But we can use these on another project too. But I do want to have a little variety, so I'm going to use the small flower and punch a couple different colors out here. So that was the Petal Park Builder Punch and the Leaf Builder Punch. I love it when all the punches work together. All right, so save others for later. So I've got three little flowers and a leaf and my sentiment. Okay, so now we'll take our dimensionals. There we go, which I had just seen. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put dimensionals here on our center punch. All right, you could have used either of these. I'm gonna use this one because I got the little, cute little frame stamp around it for right now. And I'm gonna place that in the center. So I'm going, all right, that way it still has kind of the offset look here, the collage look that we're going for. And this is just in the center. We'll take a mini glue dot to adhere our leaf. All right, right where the um, leaf and the stem connect. And we'll just tuck this under. Okay, and just a cutie little thing there. All right, I'm gonna take my Poppy Parade flower and let's trim. Let's trim some of these edge pieces up. Okay, so I want my Poppy Parade flower, and I'm gonna bend the petals just a little bit, right? You could do this before even with the point of your bone folder, just to give it a little 3D look. Pop that up here on the right, and then the white and the Calypso Coral flowers, we will pop down here on the bottom left. Okay, isn't that cute? Let Ziggy out real quick. She's scratching at the door. Okay, so then we're gonna cute this little card and we'll use our Garden Bloom pearls. Aren't these pretty? And I thought I'd do a couple different colors. I don't know, can you see this? Let me put them up here. So we've got the gold and the pink. We've got blue and green, but they're iridescent, so they kind of take on the colors of everything around them. So I'm gonna take just the little tiny ones and we'll do a different color in each set, Oops, in each flower. So I did pink on the white, a little blue, pretty peacock on the Calypso, and I'm gonna do gold up here on the Poppy Parade. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Really sweet, oh, okay, there we go, got a little adhesive smudge on it. But really suit, really cute, simple card, give you a little collage look. And again, you're just using two inch strips and cutting them to different lengths. So two, two by three, and then two by two and a quarter. 
will give you the look for, for the little collage card. Isn't that sweet? All right, and then you could, of course, you could use whatever punch or thing that you had here in the center. So that would, that would look really cute on there too, okay? You could use either one. All right, so now let's make a little treat to go with that. So we picked another of the Garden Blooms patterns and love this, the mini pocket envelopes dies, okay? You've got the one piece die that does a little pocket and then we've got um, a little scalloped rectangle. Uh, this piece folds the ends for the bow and then the, the tails. Um, we've got leaves, little oval and square labels. And if you're wondering, this is a hole punch and this does like the eyelet, like if you were doing the, um, like a manila envelope where you would um, enclose it with twine. That's what those pieces are for. All right, so I'm gonna run this through my cotton emboss machine here real quick. So I'm gonna take my sheet of paper and this one doesn't really matter because the, um, let's, let's just have the stripes. So I'm gonna cut it, this is the taller piece has the scalloped edge, so that's the top. So when I die cut this, I guess I could show you this one. I want it so that the uh, stripes are going to be going here. There we go. That's an easier way to explain it. So the stripes go vertically towards the top, okay? And then we'll just close this. All right, so because of the size of this die, um, your mini machines will not work. You will need a full-size um, Stampin' Cotton Emboss or Big Shot, a full-size machine that has the six-inch platform. So when we run that through, it just pops out so nice and easy. All right, so you've got the whole thing cut in one swoop, which is really nice. And then you've got the leftover, you can use, use those bits um, on another project. But with this, um, it's got the scallop, uh, you've got the edging for the top of the envelope, little embossed areas here for your adhesive. Uh, so that's really nice. Everything is already done in just one pass. All right, so I want my, I'm gonna have the flower side because that's the prettier side. So I'm gonna put my adhesive on this side. Okay, that's it. Just two little pieces of tear and tape. You could use your um, stamp and seal, whatever your adhesive of choice. I don't recommend a liquid glue because that's gonna take a little while to dry. All right, so with this, we're just gonna fold the ends, the little sides with the adhesive, fold those up. Close this over the top. All right, press it closed. Boom, you have the cutest little pocket, all right? And even those fun little, little envelope flap. It's just the sweetest little thing. And it's the perfect size. So you're probably tired of hearing me say this if you watched my video Friday, but if you didn't, the perfect size for a Ghirardelli square. And if you get the uh, the milk chocolate caramel ones, the gold is very, kind of goes with that uh, wild wheat. You can tuck that in there. You can put a little cash or a check or a gift card. A gift card will fit in there. We tested that out. All right, so we've got this perfectly sized. Then we're gonna take a little bit of wild wheat. All right, you could use the Calypso card. I used wild wheat. Um, in fact, I had used it so much, I had to order an extra roll of wild wheat ribbon here. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this around. Give yourselves a little bit extra. So you need, you need about 12 and a half inches of ribbon. Okay. And we're just going to tie that in a knot, hold the center there, pass this through. All right, this is just the easiest 
simple way to do it. All right, so you get this cute little knot. You can trim up your ends. Okay. And then, of course, we'll decorate this a little bit. So I've used the, the other die cut piece here. So I've got a little sentiment label. And then, of course, we need another little leaf. And then let's do a copy parade flower. I had a few cut out. We'll do the middle side, okay? Um, so you just need a flower, all right? And then let's stamp a little, a little greeting. Since I had the heartfelt hexagon, how about we do just a little for you? That will fit right on here nicely. And let's go with, since I've got pretty peacock handy, we'll use that. Okay. So, grab your dimensionals here. And I want to use two. All right, this way the ribbon will go right up the center. Okay. So put this on here so the ribbon's in the middle. And go about part way, part way up. All right. That'll help hold the ribbon in place too. And then we can straighten that out a little bit. Let's see, I think if I, why don't we do that? We'll do this so that the, that'll be cute with a little flower. Maybe I will use this smaller, smaller flower. All right. Let's do that. Again, I use the same um, Puddle Park flower builder punch for that. You get all three sizes and, and a little leaf on here. All right, so we got for our leaf. And we'll just tuck this right down. Isn't that cute? The little leaves stick out over the edge. Okay. And then a mini dimensional or a half of a regular. Pop it to give it a little 3D here. Put that right up here by the leaf. And then we'll take a little flower, I mean a little flower, a little blooming pearl. Let's see, I want the gold one. Oh, let's go with the full size because I'm just about out of the little ones. There you go. All right. So what do you guys think? Are these not the sweetest little garden bloom projects? Our little collage card and little Giardelli chocolate holder. All right, super cute, way easy. You can crank out a whole bunch of these. They make great party favors or table favors or um, little favors maybe for your coworkers and um, kids, teachers, things like that. Little, little gift of appreciation and um, great way to mix and match and use your uh, designer series papers too. So I hope you enjoyed these projects. It was great to have you guys here with me today. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Nessa. Oh, okay. Just jumping on here. All right. Well, you'll have to go back to the beginning and watch. <laughs> Hi, Polly. Hello. Hello. All right. Well, I know today was a little a little quick, but um, and if you're on my creative cardiology team, then a uh, little sneak peek. This is actually a swap card I designed uh, this month, and then everybody gets a little bonus in their team meeting packet, a little treat there. So anyways, thank you, thank you all. Again, my December host code there. Um, jump on, check out what's on clearance. Um, the seasonal sale is still going on. Um, as the items from the mini catalog retire. And um, there was a brand new kits collection released today with some beautiful florals. So check that out too. All right, thank you guys so, so much. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'll see you on Friday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.